Palo Alto, California is the birthplace of Silicon Valley. And as technology evolves, sustainable practices like walking and bicycling to school continue to represent a shared community value. Since the 1960s, Palo Alto has been educating students about bicycle safety. In 1982, Palo Alto created the first bicycle boulevard in the country, spearheaded by, and later named after, former parent traffic safety representative and city council person, Ellen Fletcher. My mom, she pushed for a lot of bike lanes in Palo Alto. Then she managed to get the bike boulevard built. Bikes allowed on the Caltrain, light rail, and expressways, and on bridges. So she was one of the first people to start programs like that, and there really wasn't any resources. So she built that. Even with strong community participation, rates of walking and bicycling to school were on the decline by the mid-80s and early 90s in Palo Alto and across America due to concerns about neighborhood school closures, longer commute times, and personal safety. Palo Alto's first Safe Routes to School coordinator, Kathy Durham, recalls that parents came together to consider whether this trend would ultimately make driving to school the only viable option. But Palo Alto took a different route, opting for a traffic safety solution that focused on generating community support for overall health and safety. There's billions of dollars that goes into telling all of our population that you're safer when you're driving your kids in a car. But if you can articulate a positive message, share the road safely, then you don't have this cars versus bikes mentality. With persistence and patience, parent volunteers began focusing more on activities like walk and roll to school day to encourage more families to consider driving alternatives. Ramped up traffic safety education efforts also reassured parents that independent school commutes were a viable option. Richard Swent developed a weekend bike safety class for nine to 14 year olds and their parents. And it had on bike and on street components to it. I had parents come up to me afterwards and say that I had saved the lives of their children by teaching them that class. The enhanced outreach began to pay off and by 2018, the number of middle and high school students commuting by foot or bike had doubled. Today, roughly 4,000 students bike to school during the peak month of September. City staff and community partners also conduct more than 150 mostly in-school pedestrian and bicycle safety trainings per year, while monthly city school traffic safety committee meetings continue to cultivate a new generation of safe routes to school parent leadership. Looking ahead, Palo Alto's reputation as a walking and biking community comes from everyone. You know, it really depends on a community that provides that grassroots lift that gets that stuff off the ground. So the future depends on the parents carrying it forward. I love what our kids are getting from this. And every year when we send our taxes in, I remember that this is what it's going to. Past courageous efforts made Palo Alto a community where students have a variety of safe and healthy commuting options. And with ongoing parent and community support, Palo Alto will continue to be a leader in walking and biking its way toward a healthy and sustainable future.